Welcome, Waffle Wolfettes. So we are back with the brilliant Far Cry 6 on the PlayStation 5. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in a previous video, we met up with Yelena from La Morales, and she asked us to rescue a bunch of her people from a cargo ship. And in return, we could start working with her and talk about forming an alliance with Libertad. Now, we've already gone to the cargo ship and rescued all of the hostages. So now we need to go back and speak to Yelena again. So let's get straight into things. Right, now I think I might need to fast travel back to one of my hideouts or something. Because um, I need to get a bunch of ammo. Because I'm very low on ammo at the moment. And I think we might also need to quickly go back to um, our camp. Which one is it? Possibly this one and upgrade our hideout network so we can get some of those better caches. Yeah, I think we're going to fast travel back here first and do a little bit of upgrading with some of our buildings and then we're going to come back and we're going to speak to Yelena. And also when you fast travel back to your camps it refills all of your ammo and stuff and your bombs and all that good stuff. Man, we ain't been here for a while. It feels like we ain't been here for ages to be honest. How do we win? Uh, we'll, we'll grab this. Sweet. That's for fully upgrading one of your camp buildings. <clears throat> now every time I fast travel back to one of my hideout locations, I will get my Supremo recharged and I will also have a better cachet I can loot every day. They're doing more fighting than the legend. Okay, but watch your step. La Morale has a bad rep, and I don't want Libertas name to be dragged down with him. I'll keep my eyes open. Hello. Okay. Right, no more maps we need to buy. Oye, Danny. Uh, it's probably good, actually. Yeah. Because when you upgrade the enhanced guerrilla garrison and stuff, um, more advanced guerrilla troops will appear around Yara, like rocket launcher ones, sniper ones. So whenever you meet your guerrillas out in the field, they're better equipped so they can help you more with missions. So it's good to get this. But the best thing about it is the uh, recon laptop because it shows you all of the stuff in the camps so you know where all the alarms are and all that good stuff. And there's better weapons you could buy as well from the vendor. So it's very good. This is the building I accidentally bought. Because I would have got the other building that gives you better um, better recruits for the uh, missions you do with like Benito and the other leaders. I would have got that building first, but I accidentally bought this one over here off camera. <laughs> so, uh, But you do want to upgrade it because it's still very good. Whilst we're here actually, we should go and see if we've got a mission with Benito finished. Because I think we do. Because I sent him out on a mission a couple of days ago. <laughs> so uh, let's quickly check that out. Yep, 75 metal. Uh, oh, no requirements. I'll take this one then. Very nice. And we get some durable seals as well. Um, well I want to get that money. It costs a little bit of medicine. Well done, well done. I don't think we've actually succeeded at one of these on camera, have we? They kept going wrong. This is a pretty good one. Oh, I don't have enough metal for this one. Uh, I guess we're going to have to fight our way out. We might lose a lot of recruits, though. That's the problem. Up to eight losses. Come on. Oh, we only lost three. That's not too bad. Very nice. And we got a big chunk of money as well from that. Very nice. Right, let's send him out on another mission. Uh, we'll send him out on this one to get a thousand... A thousand... Uh, Whatever the money's called in this game, I keep forgetting pesos in it. Lovely. Yep, we got. To freshen up that gear. <laughs> now we ain't doing no missions with you, Lola. All right, let's fast travel back now. Gonna take out this 
and the aircraft gun, and then we're going to go and speak to Yelena and get our next mission. <clears throat> Sorry for all that faffing around. I normally like to do stuff like that off camera, but sometimes I'll do it on camera just so you guys and girls can see it. We want to take down this anti-aircraft gun so that we can we have more uh, possibilities of air dropping from different locations. At the moment, it don't matter so much because I took down the anti-aircraft gun near uh, Yelena's place. But Yelena's place is in a dodgy place because there ain't nowhere you can fast travel to. So it always takes a while to get there. It's better when she moves to a different location. This is such a beautiful game, ain't it? Ain't it stunning? Look at just the trees and the mountains and stuff. They're absolutely beautiful, this game. Those guerrillas need help. Uh, do they? Oh, there's two things we can do here. Oh, sweet. I wondered why I could see blue dots. Better watch myself. Shit, sorry, he ducked. Duck boy. Flipping out. That dude that dude knew that, that dude knew how to weave. Should we should be able to do a lot of upgrading to our guns and stuff. Lovely. Right, we'll grab the depleted uranium and then back to the Yelena. I'm not even sure what the next mission is actually. talking about one I bet you got uranium burning a hole in your pocket how come we haven't seen you in a while you don't like my supremos or resolver weapons of course I like them I've been busy see well I miss you team Juan misses you and if you can get your ass promoted we can have some fun hooking you up with my beautiful toys lovely what do you mean get my ass from oh do you mean leveling up oh okay <laughs> Uh, we've got we've bought quite a few things from Juan actually. What are you moaning about? <laughs> we've bought lots of things from you. Well, I've got a fast travel here. How about here? We can airdrop here. I don't know if that would be closer or not. This might be a terrible idea. We'll try this actually. But I think this might be sort of like down the mountain. So it might be, yeah. I don't think we'll get as close to it as we can from the other one. I guess we'll find that. Oh no, now we could probably get all the way into the camp actually. Yeah, this is probably a closer one. I never knew you could airdrop from this one. Oh, well, that, that will save us a few minutes then. But eventually I think Yelena just goes to a different location anyway, so it won't be so bad. It just always takes a while to get to this camp. And then if you come here at night because of the curfew, you've always got to battle a bunch of people, so it's a lot of faffing around. I don't mind off camera, but when I'm doing YouTube videos, obviously I want to try and stay in the action as much as possible to make it entertaining for you guys and girls. I'm just happy it's daytime. If you smack into a tree in this game, do you die? Because I know in like, I think Far Cry 3 it was, I was doing some airdropping, or it might have been Far Cry 4, and I kept hitting trees and dying. Like the actual branch. I mean, I don't want to risk it, because then I have to do another airdrop. But yeah, I do, I do wonder, because I feel like sometimes I've hit like these, uh, these, bra these uh, logs, and I've, I've been perfectly fine. I have to test it off camera. Hola. 
Good morning, everybody. Oh, a bunch of pigeons, or whatever they were. Nice work with that rescue. I heard you kicked Benitez's ass, Danny. I wish I could have been there, but my battlefield is right here, watching this goddamn door. I think he, I think uh, eventually he might join our um, our uh, group of dudes that we can bloody hell, mate. You you all right? I think he might join our join our leaders at some point, and you can send him out on missions like we do with Benito. I think he does. I'm pretty sure I, I recognise that name. I heard it was someone from Libertad that rescued. Our Maybe once you're done with the La Moral stuff, he joins you. What's happening? Meeting on the mound. Some of our friends want to quit early. Okay, listen up. This isn't worth killing for. Sure as hell isn't worth dying for. We're young. We should be out there drinking and fucking and skipping school. Woo! Our parents and grandparents already stole our future. Why should we give a shit? That's what I used to think. And then one day, Admiral Benitez walked into my classroom with a gun. She called on your name, you came to the front. One by one. Alvarez. Bermudez. Carrillo. The Admiral read their crimes. Protesting, handing out pamphlets, liking a Clara Garcia post. Fernandez, Jimenez, Peña. I learned a lesson on my last day at school. You can either be on the right side of history or the wrong side of Castillo's guns. Wise words, young Guerrilla. La Moral taking new members? Depends. What? Is there an age limit? I will bleed for La Moral. If you take me. Welcome to the war, viejo. <laughs> so how do we take out the Admiral? Push-ups are the first step to victory. The Grand Hotel, Danny. That's the key. I got a convoy I like to make friends with. No. You need Carlito. Push-ups never lie. Man, man, how, how, how the hell did you get into this building, El Tigre? Who told you the pu bloody password? <laughs> who told this old man the password? Come on, someone let me know who did it. Oh man, oh, free bloody missions, everyone wants to chat with me. Why is it all these young people like to complain about our grandparents stealing our future? I hear it a lot in the real world, in like the UK. Even though our grandparents were the ones that had to deal with World War II, but they stole our future. Shut the fuck up, you stupid little brats. My fucking god, man, I hate kids like that. It's people my, well not even kids, people my, I'm 29, I'm gonna be 30 in uh, December. And people my age do it all the time. But I don't fucking do it, I respect my uh, grandparents. I respect all the old people, what they had to deal with. Right, we're going to speak to El Tigre first, because I'm pretty sure he gives me a very cool mission about a tank. So we're going to speak to this guy. I like these young daddy ass. They remind me of, well, me. Only smaller. And it's going to take a lot more than a basement full of little me's to win this war. The time has come, baby Tigre. We need Carlito. The fifth legendary member of the 67th Revolution, and the toughest motherfucker I ever knew. Soldados would kiss their pantalones when they came face to face with him. You know the expression, two birds with one stone? Well, Carlito once shot down two planes with one bullet. He is a national treasure. That was before he retired and went to work in the museum. 
The regime has put him in a cage to be insulted by filthy true Yaran Turistas. His true destiny is on the field of battle. I'll meet you at the museum. Together we will free Carlito from his prison. Alright then. Castillo has many bullets, but we will have Carlito, and Carlito only needs one. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, can we get there? Can we fast travel to this place? Where's it at? Oh no. Oh, we can't even fast travel there. Well, I suppose we can we can fast travel to this little tan and then we can just drive along the coast, taking some of those scenic views and all that good stuff, yeah? How about that Wolf Morphe? That sounds like fun, doesn't it? Can have a nice relaxing drive. Probably get shot at by a few barricades. There's most likely going to be a few barricade checkpoints, I should say, that we haven't uh, claimed yet, that we're going to come face to face with, that we need to deal with. So <laughs> it's not going to be a very pleasant drive. It's going to lead to uh, all sorts of shenanigans, but we can only hope. Oh, look, need to get some more metal. I've spent it all now. Lovely. Oh. See what I mean? Two seconds next to a road and look what's going on. <laughs> Grab some gasoline. Okay, right. Let's call me old gut, uh, car over. Need some wheels. Yeah, I don't think we should take the road. Everyone going past at the moment seems to be a villain. Here's your ride. The amount of guy at times I've shot this guy in the head is hilarious because he takes so long to get out of the car, I just started shooting him in the head. <laughs> just because it's quicker. Oh, I didn't change my um, dashboard ornament into chorizo. Oh, well, never mind. I have to customise our car at some point. Oh, no. We don't need no information from you, mate. Well, we do, but I'm not getting out of the car. I knew there was going to be one eventually. I swear one of those civilians just run over one of the guards. Oh, you don't, mate. <clears throat> Trying to set off a flipping alarm. Boom! <laughs> Where's the billboard? Huh? Lovely. Well, we took that one down very explosively. I think there might be a uh, FND base around here, actually. One that's been uh, built into like some sort of... Um, looks like some sort of... Uh, I don't know, like some sort of like fun kids area. It's like filled with a load of statues of like mammoths and stuff, I think. I think this will help. What do you got for me? There used to be a theme park nearby before the military took it over. Oh, that must be it then. <laughs> you see how their car has lost its wheels because I own the checkpoint now. Now, I was trying to talk to that woman. I think she was going to tell me about the, uh... Oh, well, they're gone. Right, come on, here. hurry up. I need, I need to speak to you. There used to be a theme park nearby before the military took it over. Now they use it to land and fuel up choppers. You could probably wander through most of the park without being caught. But once you get to where they keep the choppers, stay sharp. Appreciate it. Yep, okay. Yeah, we need to take over that. I think that's very close to me, actually. Lovely. Some more gunpowder.
This is a pretty pretty nice car, this is. This is the kind of car I wouldn't mind driving. Can't drive for shit, but I wouldn't mind driving. <laughs> Look at Chirizo. I wish we could get him in a car with us. I don't know if we're going to see any other checkpoints on the road, but we're relatively close now. I feel like we're not, getting as many, we're not getting as many missions finished at the moment just because there's a lot of travelling. Once we start unlocking more camps and stuff like that, things will be a lot quicker. We'll be able to make a lot more progress in these videos, get a lot more missions done and stuff. Oh, fuck. El Tigre, I'm at the museum. I'll put my gun away for now, but I, I am going to kill everybody in this place. I'm just letting you know. Come on, I don't bite. Oh, oh there he is. You right, buddy? Come here. El Tigre, what are you doing? Are you not worried about getting recognized? Don't worry. I brought markers for autographs. One for me, one for you. That's not what I meant. This museum used to be dedicated to us legends, but Castillo rewrote history to make us look like villains. He even found a way to paint Carlito in a bad light. I wonder what history will say about us. They will say, this was the day when two legends walked into a museum and three walked out. <laughs> Lovely. I voted Castillo. Sorry, dear. That was a bit violent, wasn't it? It makes it sound like we're rescuing another human and it turns out it's a tank. I think you might even be able to keep this tank when you're done with it. There's a couple of missions where you get a tank as a reward. We've still got the other one we can do one of those Yaren story missions and you get a tank as a reward. Well, we, we, should, we need to do some of those other ones. I know the question on your mind. Hello? I've got the gun. You take the wheel. Get us out of here. Carlitos Boston. I can't exactly carry him out of here. He just needs a little love. You can fix him. There's one more dude somewhere. El Tigre and Carlito together. El Tigre and Carlito together again. Baby Tigre, jump in the driver's seat. I've got the gun. I don't want to drive the tank. Come on, can't I shoot? Man, all sorts of goodies over here, though, that's for sure. Right, come on, Chorizo, get in the tank. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> Things are about to get loud. I didn't know you could bump into cars and blow them up. It's pretty much like Grand Theft Auto, ain't it? In Grand Theft Auto, you bump into anything with a tank, it immediately blows up, doesn't it? Just like that. But I'm assuming it's doing big damage to me. We 
we're going down here. You need to shoot that helicopter, El Tigre. I don't know if you already are, but it's right on our ass. Alright, let me just... Let me shoot this helicopter. Am I on? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, God, fuck me! Well, El Tigre got it. That's a mighty fine shooting, mate. Especially with my driving. The only time I drive well is in karting games, like Mario Kart and Crash Team Racing. That story about Lobo, I think we do hear that eventually. Oh, get out of the fucking way. Man, thank God they're shooting flares up uh, everywhere. So I actually know where I need to go. <laughs> Guys, flipping nightmare. Oh, God. I don't know what my health's like on this tank. Uh, keep out of the way. Keep out of the way, everyone. Oh, watch out, watch out. So you came. What the fuck is he doing here? I wanted him to see Carlito for himself. <laughs> Me compay. How many years since you've been down the mountain? Too many. Carlito and I, we have a lot of good memories. Time to make some new ones. You should join us, hermano. War is over. When we are all free. <laughs> hey, come. Come on, it's gonna be good. No, I'm good. Come on. <laughs> Get in there and enjoy a nice cuddle with the lads. Come on, what's the matter with you, Danny? A nice cuddle with the lads? What's better than that? <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh man, I love the Legends of 67. Lovely. Marked a few new locations on the map. And got a bit of metal as well. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually have a look. I might have a new. No. Man, there's a rifle somewhere that I really like. I can't remember the name of it. I think I do. I think I've got a better shotgun, actually. I think I've got like a rank 4 shotgun. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah, let's upgrade this bad boy. We've got a lot of, uh, quite a lot of supplies. We need a lot of industrial circuits. Very 
nice. Do I need this? Oh, it increases the accuracy by a lot, so definitely. Mods. Improve. What? Uh, improve body shot damage. Yeah, that could be good. <clears throat> improve weapon damage to dealing. Oh, no, I don't want that. I'll probably grab this. Because I'm always aiming with my weapons. Oh, we ain't got enough for anything else. And then we're going to stick. Should we stick a little tank on the side of it? Oh, yeah, that looks cool, doesn't it? And then we can uh, change the colour of it. Oh, God. Oh, oh, Brian Leopard. An iguana. Oh. Found a go with this. Look at that. We got ourselves a new shotgun, boys and girls. Lovely. This is going to do some good damage. How does it shoot? Holy shit! <laughs> Fucking hell! Well, that's got some speed on it. Alright, well, I'm going to have to end the video now, Wolf Wolfet. So, yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf Wolfets. Hopefully, you enjoyed this explosive episode. Like, share, and join the pack today.